right guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, and today I'm in Reading, PA to start my new car buying process. Okay, it's a really, really exciting time. I'm super pumped for it. Uh, just drove an hour this morning out here to pick up my first of 10 sort of hidden vehicles that I'm gonna be bringing to the channel over the next uh, couple weeks, couple months. Um, starting with this one right here. I know you wanna see it. Um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be driving the car. I'm gonna be experiencing it uh, and seeing if it's if it's right for me um, to buy to replace the Infiniti G37 Coupe, which is on her last legs. Okay, you guys ready? Ready for the unveiling? Here we go. There she is. There she is. Let's get that good camera angle. 2021 Toyota Supra GR. All right, here it is guys, the 2021 Toyota Supra. This one's in nitro yellow. Um, unfortunately, there are three different trim levels, a two liter, a three liter, three liter premium. Actually, I should say there are, there's another level as well, an A91 special edition. I think it's very similar to the premium, um, maybe with bigger, bigger um, rims, you know, bigger, bigger rotors. Um, and then some nice little accents, carbon fiber trims here and there. Um, this one's a two liter twin scroll, single turbo, four cylinder. It's got about 255 horsepower, um, just under 300 foot pounds of torque, which is, which is kind of what I'm looking for, low end torque. Um, and it looks like there's no rev limiter looking inside, which is kind of cool. So you can really, even though it is a four cylinder, you can kind of rev it out a little bit. Um, and here that that glorious four cylinder versus versus the six uh, in the three liters. Um, I think it goes up to about 385 horsepower, 365 pounds of torque, which is you know considerable difference. Probably a difference in the sound too. Obviously a six cylinder. Um, you know all the models are an eight speed um, automatic transmission. Uh, this one's got 18 inch aluminum excuse me 18 18 inch cast aluminum 10 spoke wheels is the the formal um sort of name for what what this thing uh is rocking um a lot of these parts just about all these parts um have come from bmw this this car is essentially a bmw under the skin um its engine was produced 
at the same um, factory as the Z4 or the Z4, as some of you guys might, might know it, um, the BMW Z4. Uh, and it's built on the same plant, the same sort of line uh, in Austria as the Z4. So, you know, for good or for bad, I think that's probably a good thing. Um, pretty excited to, to test it out. But just looking at the sort of style elements, I think, I think Toyota knocked it out of the park. It's definitely a beautiful, beautiful looking car with all the arrow there, regardless of its, you know, all that front arrow is actually, um, is actually functional. A lot of non-functional arrow on there, um, which is a huge, huge knock, obviously, but we're talking about a car that's, this one's 45 grand. Um, you know, the high level one is, is I think 55. I think that's the highest you can spend. So a little bit of non-functional sort of stuff, you know, gloss gloss black mirrors uh, for added sort of styling here's another big one all right looks beautiful but really serves no purpose except for for making it look gorgeous which it which it does um, and I'm okay with that so looking at the the back splitter as well really really well done um, aluminum aluminum exhaust tips dual tips um, I don't even know what to call that, but it's got that back sort of brake light that just, just makes it look a little bit more aggressive. I think the back of this car is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the biggest things for me. Coming up behind this thing, it, it looks serious. It looks mean. It looks like a, like a I don't want to say a supercar, but it really looks like it's the business, you know what I mean? Um, and then just on the top, that, that nice little sort of, you know, sort of bulge there where it kind of goes down. Another nice little sort of, you can see it from the side there. Just a nice little element. I think, again, I think Toyota has really, really done a, a good job with the exterior. All right, so just coming around here before we uh, get heavily into the interior. Um, I guess this is part of the interior, but taking a look at the, the Supra, it's got a bit of a hatchback sort of vibe to it. Um, quite a bit of trunk space, all things considered, right? It's a small little two-door sports car. I just got my I've got my camera equipment. There's a couple car care things there. Um, yeah, not bad, not too bad. I don't know if you're gonna get uh, golf clubs in there, but um, I mean, it's, it's fairly spacious. Not too bad. You can kind of see through there into the cockpit. Not sure how good the lighting is there. Hopefully it focuses itself. You got a nice little sort of window back here. God, if they stuck a big V8 in this thing, can you imagine? The, the symphony would be beautiful. <laughs> All right, so just take a look at the key here. That's the key. Looks like your, your basic standard Toyota key. Maybe they added a little bit of red on the side to justify the $50,000 price tag. Um, it should be said this model, the 2.0 liter, uh, does the zero to 60 in about five seconds the higher level models you know all with the same performance level do it in 1.1 seconds quicker so 3.9 seconds zero to 60 okay quite a big difference difference in performance uh, speed difference in sound probably more importantly for me so just taking a look at the the interior here um, one of the biggest things that I notice as I get in is it is extremely tight I'm six feet tall, and this car, when I get in, I feel like I'm literally a, a sardine in it. Um, so I just, I mean, again, it is what it is. It's a two-door sports car. I guess you want to feel pretty tight, um, but that's, that's a big negative for me right off the get-go. Um, the other thing is just visibility. You can see the, the window kind of tilts down a little bit. Again, again, it's kind of in line with the, with the styling sort of notes. If you're gonna style it the way it's styled, you obviously have to, have to take away from the visibility a little bit, and I understand that. Um, I guess we'll, we'll see more when we start to drive it. But just getting into the fit and finish, uh, pretty nice. I mean, you got, you got metal sort of door handles, JBL audio, which is always a good one. Um, gloss black finishes, leather, right? Um, again, remembering that this is mostly BMW, right? The whole infotainment system, that's, that's all BMW. Like, take a look at it. It just, it just obviously speaks BMW. The whole little setup here, I love the carbon fiber. Again, BMW, BMW, uh, BMW as well. Um, 
just a whole little setup here. I would expect there to be a little bit of an opener here to store some stuff. That doesn't open, so you get one little bottle of water, one little cherry uh, air freshener if you need it, and then a little bottle of hand sanitizer. So it's, it's again, it's, it's, it's very limited on space, but when you're buying a car, you know, two-door sports car just for hooting around on a, on a weekend, that's kind of, I guess, what you're, what you're sort of after, or your, your expectations are within that sort of reach. Um, loving the seats, absolutely loving the seats. The seats definitely give it that very sporty, sort of serious sort of look. Um, like in the speaker system, obviously if you upgrade um, to the higher level, um, you know, trim vehicle, you get more speakers. I think you go up to 12 speakers. Right now I'm seeing, you know, there's one, two on the other side you know one two there um and then two more in the side door so i mean six is not too bad there's probably a few more tucked around that i'm not even noticing but you know the more the better right especially when you're in a hot sports car like this toyota super badging along here really really like that um what i really find weird is the seats are all manual we're in a you know a car at this price point and again it's not crazy crazy expensive but manual really like that's kind of weird um digital dashboard digital display and just listening to that four cylinder sounds pretty nice all things considered i mean the six probably sounds quite a bit better but that sounds really really nice yeah you got your your displays up top you know for your garage function Anything else you need there, SOS, some lighting. All right. Hello. All right, got what you need there, that can close, open. All right, cool. Little light. Yeah, not too bad. Interiors, you know, probably, you know, a seven, eight for me. Not too bad. So I'm actually really, really embarrassed here. <laughs> I was revving in like, you know, the comfort mode, wondering like, wow, well, there's not, no cracks and bangs. This car, the reason I got onto it is because someone went by me in one the other, the other day or a couple months ago, a month ago, and the cracks and bangs were unbelievable. And so I get into this car and obviously I'm like, where are those? You know, did I just get the, the lower trim level? So I just found the sport button, activated, and probably going to be activated until I get out of this car. <laughs> and listen to the sound now. And you can hear, not necessarily cracks and bangs, but you can just hear a bit of like that blow off sort of turbo sound, which is so glorious. It's beautiful. Um, I cannot wait to drive this car now. This is amazing. Okay, let's take a look under the hood. All right, so she's a 2021, so she's looking nice and clean in here. Again, a twin scroll, single turbo. Uh, inline four cylinder, about 255 horsepower. Um, I think it's 285 torque, which is good. It's a, it's a, that's, it should be a peppy little engine, to be honest. I'm pretty excited about it. Again, no rev limiter. It's got some little pops and bang, bangs and some farts. I'm looking forward to having a drive in this thing. So um, let's close the hood and uh, and move on. All right, guys, so that's the review of the car. Um, all the sort of logistics are out of the way. Uh, you know, we understand the car. We know what it's capable of now. Uh, we found the Sport Plus mode. Uh, now it's time to get in there and first drive it. Stay tuned uh, for the next video, okay? Uh, if you haven't, like, subscribe, follow the channel. Um, I've got a lot of content, a lot of cars coming in the next couple weeks. Um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a contest. Last 10. Let's see who... Uh, who makes it to the final sort of one car um, and that vehicle is going to get bought in the next uh, little while. All right, follow along and uh, subscribe, please. All right, see you in the next one.